of all the videos I could have made today, the one thing I didn't expect to say was that what if episode three was actually quite good after the debacle that was the first episode followed by the disaster that was the second. I have no idea how they turned this around because apparently it's made by the same people. And yet, they did. We've gone from literally in the first two episodes having characters that were just skin suits that were wearing the faces of the actual characters. But personality-wise and the way they acted, they were entirely different people. And that has completely gone out of the window in episode three. In this, all the characters act like they should have done. And Loki is even back on form. When it came to the Loki TV series, we saw what was basically a cowardly weakling. He wasn't Loki at all. But in this episode, this is the Loki that we know. And it is awesome. It is amazing. Now, I'm not going to really give spoilers for this episode because I think it's actually well worth watching yourself. But I am going to lay out the kind of rough outline of the episode. So if you don't want any spoilers at all, stop watching now. But I, I won't give anything major away. So the episode is essentially the sort of a murder mystery. The Avengers are getting killed. They're getting killed before they can even form the Avengers. Nobody really knows why. And it's basically a race against time in order to work out why these people are getting killed before more do. And it is actually the Avengers killing other Avengers. That's what makes it even stranger. Nobody knows why is it happening. No one can actually explain what's going on. It's very weird. And it actually really does draw you into the episode. Now, of course, the episode does fall foul of the same issues that I had with the first one with relation to the graphics and that I just don't think it's a very good animation style. And the same really terrible humor crops up. We've literally got Agent Coulson sniffing Thor. I'm not, I'm not making this up. Agent Coulson sniffing Thor and saying he smells of lavender even when he's rotting. Like, seriously, I don't know what it takes or you have to be on to write that line and think it's the quality line that contributes to the episode, but that's the kind of world we're living in. But if you can look past that, the actual story itself, what is a self-contained, very short animation, it, it's good enough. This is not going to win any major awards for quality or suspense, but it works. And the actual story is a good what-if story, because this gets back to what I was saying in episode two, what, what we should have. This wasn't about swapping out characters. Oh, we're just going to see what happens to this guy if he's a woman. It's on, that's an awful premise. But in this, it actually changed the events. It made a different event happen. And then from there, we just saw how the characters acted. And this allowed the characters to be themselves, but in a different situation. And it actually stuck quite closely to the movies. It didn't this, well, the others just brought up like one scene from a movie. This had several, and it managed to tie them together really well. It felt like a lot more work and a lot more thought had gone into this one. Now, whether that was because they weren't tied to something, they weren't tied to, well, we really need to make this woman look better than the man that was in the same role. And so they actually got to focus in the plot? I don't know. But that's the way it comes across. Because they weren't tied down by trying to force some kind of narrative, the narrative was allowed to play out organically. They were allowed to just take the characters and put them in this situation, and then it kind of wrote itself. And then when Loki appears and just acts like Loki, it's incredible. When you get a scene towards the end where you're like, what is going on here? When you just see this guy kick ass, it's amazing. As you slowly kind of work out what's going on during the fight, just before the reveal, just as it should be doing. It's satisfying. It works. And so now I'm in this really strange point because I hated the first episode and the second episode is probably some of the worst te television I've seen. And then we get this just out of left field, which is actually good. And I don't really know how to feel about it. Because yes, on the one hand, I've watched great TV, but now what happens in the next one? Now I've been put in this strange no man's land where I'm not even sure whether next week I want it to be good or bad. Before I'd written off the entire episode, I wasn't expecting much. I was just going to watch it for this review. But now, you've kind of got hope. This, I like hope for the series that maybe after this, maybe they wrote the first two and realized they were awful. Maybe they realized they can change it for the next one. So now what happens next time if they go back to how bad it was before? It's going to feel even worse than just being trash all along. 
And the question that I really have is why did you start with those two? Because I guarantee you those first two were so awful that Disney lost a lot of viewers. If they'd front-loaded this one, this is easily the strongest episode. This would have grabbed people's attention. This would have kept audiences interested. Instead, they scared off the audience and then put out the good stuff third. It just doesn't make any sense to me. There doesn't seem to be any kind of strategy involved, and so now I have no way to predict what's going to happen in the future. <laughs> When you can't even get your quality right, you can't front load the quality up front and then kind of do a bit of a dodgy middle and end strongly, which is how I'd set it up if I really had to choose. Yeah, we're going all over the place. We started poorly, scared off all the viewers, and then hit them with the quality when there's nobody left. So at this point, I am very curious to see what's next. I want to know whether they're going to continue at this level or just dive off a cliff. I... I'm more interested at this point in their strategy of the television rather than the television itself. But for episode three, this was a quality episode. It wasn't amazing. It's not going to blow your socks off, but it was entertaining. It was probably a seven or a 7.5 at least compared to the first two, where I'd say the first one was probably about a two and the next one was easily a one. So we have gone up massively in quality. And it's probably only the bad taste of those episodes, which is preventing me from giving this a bit more. This episode kept me entertained, it was gripped, and I didn't feel bored at any point. Its pacing was on point. It started off strong and it just carried on. I wasn't looking at a clock, at no point did I check, at no point did I think that this needed to end early, or that I really didn't like a certain part of it, except, obviously, the really, really dodgy humor. Agent Coulson, if he wasn't in it, it would have been a far stronger thing. And I don't like saying that because I like Agent Coulson as a character. I liked him in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I thought he was one of the strongest people there. So honestly, I have no idea what they thought they were doing to him in this episode. They, whether they just don't like Agent Coulson and really wanted to humiliate him, I'm not sure. But he was absolutely, utterly humiliated in this episode. It wasn't just bad comedy. This was embarrassing. But if you can get past that, the rest of the episode is well worth a watch. So if you haven't seen this, I do recommend it. And at this point, the only thing on my mind is I really hope they take this as a lesson. They see the reaction to this and realize that actually they made a mistake. They fixed it, they got a quality episode, and hopefully the rest of the series actually continues this quality level. But for now, that's it from me. If you like the video, press like and subscribe for more videos in the future. And let me know what you thought of the episode down below. And do you think they're going to continue this quality level? Or actually, do you think we're just going to descend back into the hell of the first two? But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye